What's up guys, Hassan here and welcome to Crazy Town Inc. Today we got the Sticker Mule promotion. So basically when you buy off of Sticker Mule, you'll start getting their emails and um, they always have promotions like $4, $7, five stickers, die cut stickers, tape like this time and many more things. So if you want to go check their website out, I'll put it down um, in the description below. And um, let's get straight to the point. So, first time I ever got one of these, they didn't have this. So let's zoom in and show you what's going on. They didn't have this, and this basically helps you open the package. It just makes it easier to open. Um, so that's kind of cool. I think I don't know if they saw one of my videos. Probably not, but they probably saw someone famous's like video of opening the package and kind of struggling because it was kind of hard to get it out. But uh, that's a cool feature right now. And another cool feature is. Um, when you're working on all this with the designer because you get to contact them and you get to like talk to them and tell them what you want specifically done to your design if you're not happy with it. Once you're doing that and you fill all that stuff up like your um, address, your name, your uh, bank account and stuff like that, you get to put in your brand name or your company name. And so in this, for my example, it would be, let's see, can we get a nice zoom in here? There you go, right there. Crazy Town Inc. I, I did all that black stuff right there to take, take my address out, but um, yeah, I think that's kind of cool because they'll put like your brand name or your company name, and so, uh, you know, feels kind of official. But let's open this. It's so easy to open this time. I love it. And uh, again, this is very like, it's very stiff and, and, um, and nice. And so this is tape. That was a $4 promotion that I bought. I haven't even opened it yet. I've never seen one of these. I'm showing you guys everything for the first time. All right, so this is what I got for now. Let's see what else is in there. There is nothing else in there, but yeah, I love their packages. Let's get rid of that. We'll pick that up later. So I think they've been working a lot on their packaging because last time this didn't look like this. Last time I got stickers, I'll check out my videos to to find all that stuff. So, this is nice. The, the, you always get one of these. This has been like, I think they're famous for it. Um, it says cheers, or it says like, uh, thanks a lot, thank you for your order, and then who, who made that for you? And so Crystal was my designer at this time. Thank you, Crystal. Um, I don't keep these, but maybe, you know, it's kind of cool to keep them and, and to, to see how many you got. You always get these too. These are the little stickers, sticker mule. I took one of mine, I cut this mule out right here. I took out the mule out because you know when this whole like thing was going on with the um, to like hide your camera for your hide the camera for your laptop or your or your like uh, monitor or your webcam or whatever you have. Um, so I cut the little mule out and they put it on a webcam and I think it's kind of cool. So yeah, you can you can like use that like that. Here we have the packaging tape instructions. Let's zoom in and show you guys what's going on. All right, so I try to read it as we do this. Packaging tape instructions number one is, I gotta stand up for this one. Number one is cut tape uh, to desired length. And you have this uh, after wash and before water um, little sponge. And I'll show you a sponge in a minute. Number two is wet the adhesive side with a wet towel or wet sponge. And then apply the tape, I don't know why I said towel, apply the tape to your packaging. And that's it. And so that's what the tape's for. It's for packaging. You can use it for, I'm not going to use it for packaging. I just wanted to see the tape because it's like $4. It's, it's really cheap and I think you get a 12 inch roll. But here it is. It's rolled up with two little rubber bands. Yeah. <laughs> and... Well, uh, this is it. Oh, this is better lighting like this. Yeah, try to get all of it. So this is pretty cool. I want to look at it for a second, if you guys don't mind. This is pretty cool. It's um, the details are what I wanted. You know, so they did grasp the details, and the colors are what I gave them. And it's big. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of this icon. So I sent them, I made this little picture 
on Canva. If you guys don't know what Canva is, go check it out. It's like an app or a website you can use it on your laptop or phone and you can make thumbnails, you can make um, a lot of stuff, you can monetize it, monetize it in different ways and it's awesome. So I made this using Canva. I took the top uh, of one of my paintings, which is this, I took the top left uh, picture of it and then I took this, this is a wooden plate that I made and this middle piece right here is the, um, it's like a mouse pad that I make, I have it right here. So I made that mouse pad for my cousin for his, for his birthday, I think. And it was one of those, and I just, uh, I drew something different on it. And, and if you guys want anything like that, I, I do all those. Um, so yeah, I gave him this, and this is what I got. It's pretty cool. Now, it says you take the sponge, this is the sponge that we got. You take the sponge, or you wet it first, then you cut the tape to the desired length, and then you wet the adhesive side with a wet sponge. So adhesive side, so, so I think this is the adhesive side, let's see. Because both these sides, one of these sides feels kind of dry, and then the other side feel, feels kind of weird. Um, so I'm assuming it's the, it's the adhesive side. But you can't really tell unless it tells you. Apply the tape to your packaging. Blah, blah, blah. What the adhesive side? Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to try this out. I'm going to cut this little icon right here out, the whole thing. And we're going we're gonna to use it. We're going to get a little towel and try both sides to see how it works. And so, uh, see you in a minute. All right, so it's going to be a little shaky just for a second because I have a kind of weird setup going on. But... This is the instructions. This is everything we got from them. And this mug right here is the water. You can see it. You can kind of see it. But what I'm going to do, I'm assuming that this is the adhesive right here. And as you can see, it's very, um, it's kind of like brownish or yellowish. And so all we have to do is, well now, is find something to put it on. So I will cut a piece of this off. Scissors, I had scissors here. Let me get the scissors. All right, so I had to get up my, I had to get my backup scissors. So uh, you can kind of see the line here. I know my picture. And so I know, I kind of know exactly where it's at. Um, I'm still gonna measure it using a, a ruler. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I think it cuts off right there. So I want to get that angle on it, the 90 degree angle. And I'm going to use uh, a pencil to align it like that. And it's, I think it's kind of hard to see on this camera, but there is a line right there that you can't see. I'm going to cut it off. And there we go. I still have all these to use. This is supposed to be tape for a box. Uh, you can use it. You can you can basically put it on anything else you want. Um, and that's what I'm trying. I want to see the kind of surfaces that you can put this on. Uh, because they do say it's strong tape and that you can go use it on multiple surfaces. Um, so what I have today is um, a book, the like a copy book or like a drawing book. It can be whatever you want. You can call it whatever you want, but um, that's basically what I'm using it for. I'm putting it um, on a drawing book that I have, and it's one that I've been... I haven't really worked on it a lot, but it's going to be on the back side right here. Um, I basically use this to like practice a lot of things. Um, this is like a two-point perspective drawing. You can see it better like that. And I draw all sorts of stuff. <laughs> like this, shading, practice. So, I, I was practicing, here's my mouse right here, my mugs, just for perspective, and so we're using this right now. I have this right here, you can get this, it's like a little sponge also, but you can get this from anywhere you want, like Home Depot, or uh, you can go buy it online on Amazon. Uh, basically, just like look up sponge or look up foam, and you'll get some of this. I'm using it because we have water involved, and so I don't want to get the um, my desk all wet. 
So as you can see, little drops of water have already hit this sponge. And you see how it's foaming like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the mug right in front of you, hold it, put the sponge in it, and then take it out. And <laughs> isn't that awesome? Look how big it is now. Uh, I'm going to squeeze a little of the water out. Alright, so not all the water is out. And I think it's kind of good to get your surface a little wet to begin with. So what we're going to do is, what it says to do is basically put it on the box, apply it, like wet the adhesive side with a wet sponge and then apply the tape to your packaging and that's it. And so here's what we're going to do. We're going to make this wet. I can kind of feel it getting sticky already by doing that. We're going to make this wet. And then we're going to apply this right here. I want to make sure you guys see it. And I like to use rulers um, in situations like this. It's not very symmetric, but this is just to show you guys how to apply it. Use rulers just to make sure there's no air bubbles if you're using a different surface. With this, this, with this kind of surface, you wouldn't find any air bubbles. But, um, so it's, it's there. Yeah, you can feel the adhesive. I think if you let it dry um, later on, you'll just uh, notice that it works exactly like tape. Obviously, you can take tape out when you're done with it, but um, this is nice, it works nicely. Um, it's exactly what I ordered, and so, yeah, this is a little demonstration of what you get when you buy the $4 promotion, how big it is. Um, they told me it was 4 inch by 3 inch, so let's measure the 3 inches real quick just to show you. So this is 2 and 2 and 75, 2.75 inches right here. So not technically 3 inches, 2.75 inches. And then I know that the, uh, they told me the, the, the whole thing, the, the length of the whole thing was 12 inches. And so uh, maybe it's a little, uh, a little more, a little less. It, they told me it d depends on the kind of drawing or the kind of uh, picture that you send them. So yeah, if you like this video, um, please feel free to subscribe and like it, share it with your friends. So if you like this video, please um, subscribe, support my channel. I really enjoy making these videos. Um, I think that there's not a lot enough of them on YouTube or online, and so that's why I make them. And also as an artist, it's kind of hard for you to go and invest into things that you're not really familiar with. For example, getting stickers or buying like $50 or $80 worth of stickers. Um, so when I do purchase them and whenever I make a little project, I do my best to put it online and um, show you exactly by details how it works. So by subscribing and liking my videos, you are supporting my channel. And um, I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Have a good day.